All right, hi. Uh, this is my art journal update um, for the week. I think it started, the week started the 14th. Um, this is my Traveler Style B6 Hobonichi. It's actually a Hobonichi um, Techo B6 that used to belong to my husband back in 2022. And then he didn't really write in it. And so I put it in here because B6 feels like the perfect size for me. And I was sort of saying like, it's basically the size of my hand. Um, and that just makes it like really easy to like hold and write in and control. Um, and I love it. But this is an interesting thing that's happening that I'm actually also super into is that these are actually pages that my husband wrote on. So this is him like doing dinner planning in 2022. And then this is me doing like layout planning for a comic that I'm writing because I'm taking a comic book class. And I like folded over and like taped together some pages because I just don't need everything to be on the internet. But here's some more like thinking about, it's gonna be a four page comic. So thinking about layout, thinking about pages, and then thinking about the, um, the comic I'm writing. I just blurted out that I should make a comic about the first gay president of space. And it sort of developed in this whole thing and like started way more complicated. And then I actually, I put the, I put the pages in, but I put them in backwards. So I drew this initially just on a piece of like, you know, lined paper. And I was like, oh, this is good. And so then I took it to my drawing board at home and I put the paper on a stool next to me to like look at but I accidentally put it upside down and I wasn't paying attention. So I put the panels in, in this order and then I realized I'd fucked it up. So then I went back, just the background panels, not like the whole panels, but I went back and I just flipped it over to be upside down so that it would be in order. So here's, the panel one um and this I put this these blue squares in then I put the silhouettes of the people then I started drawing the lines um and then these notes in red are the notes that I got from my teacher and basically the comic is about William Egg that's him the little red person and it's only four pages so it only has three characters it's William Egg his mother, Kitty Egg, and then their robot, Compassion Bot 2.0. And Kitty Egg is the president of Mars. She's actually the first gay president of Mars. Um, she showed up on Mars with a chicken and a dream sequencer and just worked her way up from nothing. She's had to fight for everything she's ever gotten. She's always been doubted and rejected at every turn. And so as a result of that, she is a very hard woman. She doesn't have a lot of space for like dreams or fantasy or compassion or even empathy towards herself or anyone else. And, um, and as a result of this like really hard work that she's done, William has lived a fairly charmed life, right? He's like basically a prince on Mars. He doesn't have to do much labor. So he sort of floats from job to job, getting really fascinated with different aspects of life on Mars and different aspects of like the business, but never in any way that's going to like expand it or make it more profitable. Um, and in fact, a lot of times he comes back to Kitty with these ideas that like, maybe people shouldn't work as much. Maybe we should have more social safety nets, like things that a compassionate kind person would infer from being in an industrial environment, right? Um, which pisses Kitty off because she never had breaks. She never got to have a social safety net. She always had to just work as hard as she possibly could and she doesn't understand why anyone else would get to have a life that she was never given. So the comic sort of opens on like the breaking point for their relationship where Kitty is mad at William 
because as far as she's concerned, he hasn't taken any advantage of the world that she built for him. And of course, as far as he's concerned, he's taken full advantage of it and she just doesn't see these, these things that he does as like useful. Um, but she's decided that she's gonna make him the first gay president of space because she was the first gay president of Mars. It just seems like a likely succession. And so she's gotten this like fake election where he is going to be the president, the first ever president of space, literally meaning the space between the worlds in the galaxy, not anything useful, right? And so he's mad. And then this is Compassion Bot 2.0. Compassion Bot 2.0 exists because HR makes Kitty have Compassion Bot around because Kitty is rude. She says mean things. She's not very articulate with her intentions sometimes. And so Compassion Bot is there to sort of like keep them from getting sued. Um, and this is Compassion Bot 2.0 because Compassion Bot 1.0 got thrown off a building by Kitty for being far too compassionate. So, so Compassion Bot 2.0 is like a little bit tempered. And then this is the scene where so, so like they you know call him to the office. They're telling him what's going on. Kitty is being an asshole. Compassion Bot is actually accurately translating his mother's feelings. Um, but she sort of blows up. William sort of tries to defend himself, but it's no use. Compassion Bot basically says something along the lines of like, it might actually be good for you to get off of Mars and try to find yourself and like be your own man. Like you don't have to live here. <laughs> um, and they leave. And Kitty's mad and Compassion Bot is, is bot like and William is just devastated and they even turn the lights off on him so then he has to leave and and go to the spaceport by himself. And then there's this long panel that takes up the majority of the page of just the spaceship that he's in sort of like putt putting through space. And then there's this big shot of William sort of contemplating. He's like, as he's making this journey away from Mars, he's making this journey like away from Kitty and sort of like, you know, as you can see, his hair is much longer, like things are happening. Um, and then sort of like, I've got some notes from class. Um, and also I think it's important that he's centered for the first time. The only person that is centered in any of these other panels is Compassion Bot. And that is because Compassion Bot is centered between the two of them trying to translate. But ultimately, you know, Compassion Bot belongs to Kitty. So here's, here's William, the first time, his own man. And his hair has grown out. And then we have him, you know, and a bunch of other people sort of getting off the spaceship at the spaceport where he's going to be the president of space. And then there's him, just a guy among a bunch of other people, just ready to like, you know, start his life. So that's that. Um, and then thinking about sort of like what he's feeling here in this panel is relief because he's finally away from all the pressure that he was under. And the sort of moral of the story is that maybe there's nothing wrong with you. Maybe you just are in the wrong place. So that's kind of going to be that. And then when I, when I like flesh it out, like the conflict between Kitty and William is actually like an internal conflict that I'm having with myself. Um, because, you know, I had like a really hard upbringing and like a really hard first half of my life. And now that I'm sort of like entering middle age, I actually have a lot of advantages and a lot of security and a lot of like room to do things like art journal and take comic book classes and buy, you know, cute little art supplies that I use on cute little paintings. Like there's a lot of room to get really fascinated with things. And there is definitely a part of my brain that's like, what are you doing? You're wasting so much time. You're not doing things the right way anymore. You know, like... It used to be that if I didn't want something or if I couldn't have something and I wanted it, it either became the thing that I obsessed over for, you know, years at a time or it didn't exist. And now there's just like so many other options. <laughs> Things that used to be black and white are now like way, 
multi-spectrum in a way that's like not even just flat but also like three and four dimensional and shit you know I don't know if that makes a lot of sense but this comic is sort of me kind of thinking about how do we reconcile the people and places and circumstances that made it able for us to have a life of abundance when the life of abundance that we are having is completely alien to that person to the point where they might not even understand that it's valuable. So thinking about that um, and also thinking about generational trauma, right? Um, so that's the comic. And then what's over here? Oh, I've got some more comic book class notes. I've got a page I don't need to talk about. My friend told me about this thing, Street Epistemology, to look it up on YouTube. I haven't done that. And then I got some new brushes while I was at Michael's. Um, they were just in. I also got some glue for this journal. But, oh no, I left them at home because they like, don't really fit in here. But I got some new brushes at Michael's for watercoloring and I was just sort of trying them out. I think I like them. I think I like what they do. I don't, there's like the large flat one that's making these like sort of scratchy, scratchy things. Don't like that. <laughs> um, but it's interesting, you know, this is done with what I consider to be sort of like professional brushes. Meanwhile, some of these other paintings that I like a lot more are done with just like a water brush that I stole out of like a watercolor kit that I got at Office Depot or whatever, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to find my date night, my journal, date night journal thing from a while ago because like that was really good. Yeah, here, date afternoon. These were just done with water pen and black ink and paint pen, white paint pen. Like, I like this better. I like the way this looks better than the way this more like fancier painting looks. And maybe it's just because it's not done. Maybe it's because I was like trying to do something and that wasn't happening, I'm not sure. But I feel like I really like it when my tools are somewhat limited um, like having these different brush options. I don't, I didn't, I don't really see that it's giving me anything in terms of actually journaling. Like maybe if I was, if I was trying to be like more focused on art or painting, that would make sense. But I feel like the thing that is actually the important factor here isn't, um, necessarily equipment. It isn't necessarily like what it looks like. Um, although I'm not like, I don't have an opinion on this random small painting. I'm not like, oh, it's great or oh, it's shit. I don't care like <laughs> that. But what this thing means to me and what matters to me is that I get it down. So if that means a slapdash painting made with one tool or three tools, that is better than like something that like maybe might look better or maybe might like exercise more of my painting skills but takes more time has more associated equipment isn't really in the moment like this is for the moment and I think that you know buying those brushes was cool it's nice to have more brushes I have them at home that's great I do have like I have brushes here, I have little gouache here, although that's really for my like bigger paintings that I showed you last week. So um, I really feel like right now for me with most things, like not just art things, with like movement, with food, with interest, it's all about how can I get this how can I remove every barrier between me and the thing I want? Which the thing I want isn't necessarily like a nice painting or even a finished painting. The thing I want is to articulate, 
you know, my life. It doesn't have to be attractive. It doesn't have to be artistic. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like, but I want to get this shit down. Um, in a way that the process feels good to me. That the process is interesting to me, right? So, I'm still having a lot of fun with this book. The cover continues to just get, like, rattier. Um, and I am interested to see what happens with this like I'm not this does not feel precious to me at all this product so as it gets rattier like what am I gonna do how am I gonna mend it am I gonna mend it like I don't know I am I continue to be intrigued and um and I just I enjoy I enjoy this whole thing a lot uh see you next week <laughs>